Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. We're back again with another episode and in today's episode we're going to crack on with the weekend league, play most of the games. Uh, so you know, you just sit back, relax and let the show start because you know, the first game is literally upon us right now and look at the team. He's got mid down 9, he's also got Mbappe, he's also got SEN, he's got Best, he's got uh, Carlos Alberto, he's got Team of the Year, Neuer, and he's even got himself uh, Road to Final Cancilla and also Curtis Jones, who I really, really wanted to do, but we didn't, we missed out on him, and unfortunately that SBC went a while ago, so we do go 1-0 up through Messi, which is a great start, then we bridge it past him and get a second goal with Messi, 10 minutes on the clock, I'm loving life, you know, Against this mid down nine, you've got to just take your chances because he definitely does. Uh, then he pulls his keeper out, uh, does a nice little uh, punch back to me. Neymar picks it up, finds Rooney. He's got the ball. What's he going to do? He's going to shoot and score. So it's now 3 0 in 42 minutes. So obviously, can see, as you can see, this game's probably going to be a win as we chip it lovely there with Kimmich. Uh, but anyway, Icon Swaps came out last night. Yes, finally, they finally came out. Um, so, you know, it's a bit of an interesting one, like what you have to do. Obviously, you have to use a Bundesliga, Syria, and I think it's Premier League squad in one league. And obviously, it's, it's no rating cap, which is great. It, you know, EA keep doing that. And obviously, they've changed manager and masterpiece to a 79 rating now. Thank you for that as well. You know, because it was getting a little bit really uh, unrealistic, you know, with 77 rated teams in what are we in April. I don't know. Uh, losing track of time. But. Um, yeah, so that's a good, that's a positive. We've also uh, got the other ones, the other icon swaps, which are in, uh, you can do, well, four in squad battles, but you can do two at the same time for both. So I think it's the Argentina and Silver you can combine then. So instead of doing 12 games, it's six, and then that is the same with the UCL and the Brazilian. So you're literally doing it in half the games. You can do it in 12 games over 24. So, you know, obviously you want to do that. So make sure that you do that. It will be a little bit more expensive, but you can still play after anyway, so it's not like it really makes a difference. So that's pretty much that, and obviously you have to play, if you want to do all of them, you need to win 15 foot champs, which is a bit of a bit of a pain. And also rivals, I don't know why they've included this one this time, but you have to score in 15 separate rivals. Like, I mean, obviously people just aren't playing rivals anymore, which is understandable. They play the foot champs to the goal free and then they cash out and there's no real need to play FIFA for the rest of the week uh, because it does you both. It does you, obviously, division rivals to get you, like, to rank free. And then you've got goal free rewards as well from foot champs. But anyway, what a lovely ball that was from Josh Kimmich, by the way. Into Pele. So we're 2-0 in this game now. Uh, after winning that last game, I think we did anyway. I'm pretty sure we did. Um, I wasn't really looking. I would be obviously explaining what, what's gone in the past couple of days as well. Uh, this is something else. Um, we finally got to see, I think it's FIFA 15 or the FIFA 16 card. Uh, and it's a left wing. So we all knew who that's going to be. Jovino, the Arsenal legend, the man who missed the sitter against Bradford City all those years ago, you know, in 2013. But anyway, that's such a sick card. I honestly, that needs to come out now because the nostalgia of that card. Literally, Jovino, Ibarbo, and um, oh, what, what, oh, I forgot the other one. Uh, I've, I've completely forgot. But what a goal again, that was by Lionel Messi. But anyway, yeah, what, that was just a class from three. I can't remember for the life of me the other one. It were it Martins. No, no, it was Doombia. It was Doombia. It was Jovino, Doombia, and Ibarbo. There you go. They were the, that was the dream strike force. You know, we didn't need the Pele's, the Messi's, the Ronaldo's, the Mbappe's, the Neymar's of today. You could literally just use 80 raids and it'd be class. Uh, even like the, the FIFA's before that, silver teams were just sick. I want to go back to that man because, I mean, look at this team. This would be considered a, a legit, ridiculous, OP, god-tier squad. But nowadays, that's just a pretty standard team, isn't it? Let's be realistic. So obviously, you know, it's just with all the promos that come out and things like that, that obviously um, just put so many cards on the game and everyone can just buy them. As you can see with this uh, Honourable Mentions Mane, which is obviously the first time that they've done our Honourable Mentions this year. It's not a terrible promo, but, you know, it's, it's just not great, is it? But anyway, we are 2-1 down and we make it worse by literally just passing it to him, passing it to Human Son. And now 3 1 down, uh, and we're proper backs against the wall in this game. I'm not going to lie, had very few chances. Do get a goal back though through Neymar, but that's pretty much all she wrote, if I'm being honest with you. It does. Oh no, wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. No, 
it's not all she wrote. We do score a goal again in the 88th minute after being 3-1 down. But then, just this strikes. Uh, yeah, nice little goal from Salah. So now 4-3 down. He gets the first goal in, in extra time, which is never good. Then, my controller just took my Rico in out of position. And a man, it plays it into him. I was going to finish it. So it's now 5-3 with literally a minute left. So there's no way I'm going to come back in this game. This guy was a decent player. But 110%, if I had a working good controller that didn't pull my players out of position, I would have won that game. Uh, so we move on to the next game. He's got a nice little Vieira. He's got Drogba as well. And he's also got Raul. Now, Raul's, Ra Raul? uh, Raul's an interesting one. He's not the greatest, is he? But he still can do a job. Uh, but anyway, in this game, we have one nil up. And I'm not going to lie, in that single attack, I hit the post like four times. Just ridiculous. And then we hit the post on the finish as well. But then Rooney strikes that. Again, it's come off um, come off the goal and into the net. It's come off the, the, the nice nice uh, frame. But yeah, so we did win that game too. No, we didn't concede in that one. Uh, so that's good. And now we're now up to eight wins. I think we're eight and one. Could be eight and two. Not too sure. But we whip a ball in with a campos. And that goes in. Like, whatever. I thought it was going to quit, to be fair. But he didn't. Uh, and then we play a nice little one, two. Just eight minutes on the clock. Can we get the second? Yes, we can. Because Pele can ball roll a keeper. He can ball roll any keeper. Let's be realistic. Um, he's just an incredible, incredible player. But Joe Felix picks up the ball. We nick it back off him. And I ain't cut it. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm just dying. But this is why we've scored another goal. Messi in from Pele. Uh, so now 3-0 up in this game. But this guy was sort of unlucky, I'm not going to lie. He was decent. He won, he won the worst player in the world. Uh, he does get a goal back through Joe Felix. Nice little finesse into the right-hand corner of the net. In the 31st minute, we, we were 3-1 now. It's quite funny when that happens, like when you get the sort of thing. Like the, the time and the score are the same, if that makes sense. But we're now 4 1 up, and it just gets worse for my opponent. I'm pretty sure I'll just shoot this uh, eventually. Yep, yeah, we do pass it across. That's not a sweater, not at all. Uh, but it's 5 1, and then he just sort of gives me it. I'm not going to lie to you. He was just, I think it must have been his patience, just everything was just leaving his body. He just wasn't having a good time. But it's 6 1, and then, you know, he's going to pull a free kick off here. And I'm like, fair play, not bad, decent. Can't lie, but then he hits me with that, and I'm like, right, that is not happening. You are 6 2 down, and you have the audacity to go, <laughs> I, uh, what are you do? just no, just don't, please, there's, there's no need. Um, so, you know, as, as that's just happened, we're going to pick the ball up with Pele, and I'm a bit angry now, and I'm like, right, well, I'm going to score out. And Pele literally goes straight through off kickoff and scores, and then I watch this, wait, ready? Yeah, of course we hit him with that. Of course we did. But then uh, I did the best offside trap in the world. And he's in. And he's, he's literally just going to walk in the net. So it's now 7-3. And I'm pretty sure I did the celebration again. And I cut it because I couldn't be asked to let you watch it. Yeah, yeah, he does it again. So, you know, anyway. So it's 7-3. We win the game. 16 shots. And we move up to 9 wins. Now to the next game. It's an interesting team. He's got Inform, centre-back Walker. Quite a lot of people have got him. If he's got him untradeable, you lucky man, because he's still about a million coins. It's ridiculous. But anyway, Pele, lovely, lovely ball or scoop twice. Then we play it across, and Neymar has scored. Now, this was a very interesting game. Uh, and the reason for this is because he gets a red card, right? So, you know, he just wipes my Pele out. I would have scored that. There is no way I'd have missed that. So, I would have been 2 0 up. I take the penalty, right? Okay, so I'm thinking, right, well, this needs to go in. I miss. Right, so that that's fair enough. We're still one goal to the good, and he's got a red card. But then he just turned into like F2 Tex or something, and um, yeah, just watch this. So ball roll scoop into Neymar. There's one goal. All right, so it's back to one one. Then he comes through literally straight after in the 81st minute. Nice little um, fake shot into Ronaldo. It's now two one. I'm now losing when he had ten men. I was winning when he had eleven. And then he goes and scores another one with two minutes to go. And I was absolutely fuming. I should have won that game. I don't know how I didn't win that game. I don't know how he turned like the, the best player in the world after he got his red card. But it is where it is. So we are now up to, you know, getting more wins. Move on to the next one, right? Interesting team. Is this the same one? I don't think it is. It looks pretty similar. What's going on here? Well... You know, it's not the same. Of course, it's not the same. We're going to play it in. But, you know, I always think, like, you know, like, when when you play 
so many games of foot champs, the teams sort of look the same, don't they? Because, you know, you've always got your Mendy, your Varans, sometimes your Walkers. Like, it's just weird. Um, I, I genuinely think you play most... Well, 90% of your games are going to be against Mendy and Varane, let's be realistic. It's just, it's just one of them, like, just use something else, please. Uh, I know they're the best players in the game, but there's other alternatives, like, you, you can use, I don't know, foot, what, foot freeze Terrera instead of Mendy, maybe? I don't know, just do some creative. But anyway, in this game we are back to 2 all, which is not good, I'm pretty sure we're 2-0 up. Um, but we're going to pick the ball with a Messi, play 1-2 with Rooney, back in a Messi, nice little chip across the box. And we're now 3 to up just on the half-time mark, we get then get another, uh, just 4 minutes after the restart with Pele. It were a nice strike to be fair, I didn't even know when I won it, it was just so powerful, don't know how it's got the power on it. But we're 4-2 up against this United fan. Then can we make it 5 Well, we've bridged it in and we've scored. So yeah, it's 5-2 with, uh, well it's 5-2 on the hour and I'm pretty sure he quits. Um, I think, maybe, no he doesn't. We've scored another one with Messi. It's now 6-2 and uh, we've done that, you know. Uh, Alright, so 6-2. What else is going to happen in this game? Well, with 22 minutes left, guess go back. And I'm like, well, surely I can't concede three. Uh, well, I mean, it's not really going to matter because we're going to whip it across. And uh, Messi's going to do that in his weak foot. So it's now back with the four goal lead. And then, you know, with three minutes to go, we're just going to score another one. Because watch this. Bump, see ya. That's a penalty. And guess who's going to take the penalty when we're seven three up with two minutes to go? Just put it in the comment section below now. You know, have a guess. Uh, because I think we all know who's going to take it. He's, he's in this little uh, video thing now. He, he's just stood there. Yeah, as you can see, we're moving to the last player in the penalty thing. And it's Pope. We're taking the penalty with Pope. And watch this. I go right, but it's gone left. So I'm pretty sure he just let that one go in because I had the balls to take it with Pope. But we move up to the 10th win mark, which is good. Four more wins to get in the next episode. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.